हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू फिजिक्स ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्व स्टूडेंट्स लेट इस कंटिन्यू चैप्टर सिक्स इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट मोशनल ई एम एफ ई एम एफ इंडिकेट्स इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स हियर इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स इज इंड्यूस्ड इन ए मूविंग कंडक्टर सो वी आर गोइंग टू कॉल इट एस मोशनल ई एम एफ मोशनल ई एम एफ मीन्स द ई एम एफ इंड्यूस्ड इन द कंडक्टर moving in a magnetic field so we are going to derive an expression for motional emf in today's session yes emf induced in a rod moving in uniform magnetic field that is motional emf first we have to know what is motional emf see the definition here an emf is induced in a straight conductor when it is moved perpendicular to the magnetic field when a conductor is moving perpendicular to the magnetic field then induced emf takes place in the conductor so we are going to call it as motional emf right so here we are going to derive an expression for emf induced in a rod where it is moving in uniform magnetic field so in short we are going to call it as motional emf only because of movement of the conductor in the magnetic field induced emf takes place and this derivation carries 3 marks in your board examination yes you can observe this diagram we are going to consider a metallic rod of length l so this is the metallic rod here you can observe a metallic rod between p to q p q is a metallic rod and it is having length l and this rod is moving in a uniform magnetic field b with a uniform speed v see here we considered uniform magnetic field so this cross line indicates uniform magnetic field in this uniform magnetic field we considered a rod so which is denoted by pq let us consider this is a rod so this is a rod and this rod is denoted by pq right now this rod is moving where it is moving this rod is moving in this direction it is moving in the uniform magnetic field perpendicular to the uniform magnetic field and the speed of this rod is how much v v is velocity of this uniform rod or this straight conductor which is having length l when this rod starts to move in this uniform magnetic field what happens magnetic field linked with this rod changes induced emf takes place in the rod so we are going to call it as motional emf yes consider a metallic rod of length l and it is moving in a uniform magnetic field b with a uniform speed v v is the speed of the metallic rod <coughs> the direction of magnetic field is perpendicular to the length of the rod so how they are perpendicular here observe the uniform magnetic field lines these are perpendicular to the length of the rod and into the plane of the paper then let the rod be moved from position pq to the position rs suppose this rod is moving and it changes its position from pq to rs it reaches from pq to rs through a distance of dx dx is distance between its initial and final position initial position of the rod is pq and final position of the rod is rs and it takes a time dt dx is distance dt is time interval v is velocity of the rod l is length of the conducting rod is it clear so when this rod starts to move in this uniform magnetic field then magnetic field linked with the rod changes induced emf takes place so that we are going to call it as motional emf is it clear or you can consider a galvanometer here so if i am going to fix a galvanometer so this galvanometer shows 
the presence of current whether the current is induced in the rod or not and it is represented by galvanometer deflection is it clear so what is the construction here we considered a rod pq and this pq rod is moving perpendicular to the uniform magnetic field because of change in the magnetic field induced emf takes place in the conducting rod initial position of the rod is pq and the final position is rs the distance traveled is dx in time dt and the velocity or the speed of the rod is denoted by v right now i am going to consider the equation pi what is pi here pi b pi b is magnetic flux we already studied what is magnetic flux and some special cases also we study magnetic flux is the number of magnetic field lines or the magnetic lines of force passing through the given surface area normally it is generally given by the equation pi b equal to b dot a this is the equation for magnetic flux is it clear pi b equal to b dot a this equation i am using here because here magnetic flux or the magnetic field linked with the conductor changes induced emf takes place so i can write pi b equal to b dot a or b dot a means what here b indicates magnetic field line into a indicates area of conductor p q r s yes. which conductor we are going to consider here p q r s yes. this is a rectangular conductor don't get confused this is a rectangular conductor in that only this part is movable p q part is movable inside the magnetic field from p q to r s this is a rectangular conductor b into area of the conductor p q r s or we can write pi b equal to magnetic field b keep as it is area of the conductor p q r s area means we can consider length into breadth length is how much and breadth is how much you can observe here so we can consider length is l and breadth is dx so in place of area i can write length into breadth is dx b into l into dx now let us take it as equation number 1 then we already studied faraday's laws i am going to consider faraday's second law from faraday's second law we know the equation e equal to d pi divided by dt we considered only magnitude is it clear so that lens law gives only the negative sign to the faraday's law faraday's second law gives only magnitude lens law gives direction so now i am going to write only its magnitude so we can write the equation e equal to d pi divided by dt what it gives the induced emf in a closed coil is equal to rate of change of magnetic flux linked with that coil e equal to d pi divided by dt now from equation 1 we know the value of pi here substitute equation 1 in faraday's second law put equation 1 in equation 2 so we will get e equal to d by dt keep as it is what is the value of pi pi means what here magnetic flux so we can write b l dx b into l into dx now we have to differentiate this equation observe here i am going to write that equation e equal to here b is uniform magnetic field whether this field is changing no field is not changing field is constant only whenever that rod is moving the magnetic field lines linked with the rod changes but the field remains constant we cannot differentiate this b i am going to take outside then l is length of the rod whether length of the rod is changing no length of the rod is again constant we can take outside the remaining is what dx divided by dt e equal to b 
L capacities dx divided by dt dx is what displacement or the distance between PQ to RS from initial position of the rod to final position. So dx divided by dt means rate of change of displacement. Rate of change of displacement is called velocity. So in place of dx by dt, I am going to write simply v. Because we know that velocity is rate of change of displacement. So we got e equal to v l v. So this is an expression for motional EMF and this equation is very important in solving the numerical problems. Is it clear? What is E here? E indicates induced EMF, induced EMF in the given conductor. B is what? Magnetic field. Then L indicates length of the rod and V indicates velocity, velocity of the conductor or the rod. So what it indicates the final equation? Induced EMF is depending on three factors. What are the three factors? Magnetic field, length of the rod and velocity of the rod. So why, how they are depending on induced EMF? Observe here. This induced EMF takes place in the conductor only because of change in the magnetic field. Here change in the magnetic field means we have to take B. Induced EMF takes place, it is all because of changing magnetic field. Magnetic field is needed here. Then, this induced EMF takes place in the conductor. It is depending on the length of the rod. Why it is depending on the length of the rod? Because as the length of the rod increases, number of free charges in the rod also increases. As length decreases, number of free charges are also decreasing. If you want to induce more EMF, then the length of the rod should be greater. If you want less amount of induced EMF, then length of the rod should be smaller. So that's why induced EMF is also depending on length of the rod. Then third point, induced EMF is depending on velocity or speed of the rod. Suppose if the rod is moving very slowly inside the magnetic field, then magnetic field linked with that conductor changes slowly. Is it clear? So that effects induced EMF. If the movement of the rod is faster, more amount of induced EMF takes place. Is it clear? That's why it is also depending on velocity of the rod. Is it clear? What is the expression for motional EMF? E equal to B L V. And this motional EMF or induced EMF depends on three factors and they are magnetic field lines, length of the conductor and velocity of the conductor. So this is an expression for EMF induced in a rod moving in uniform magnetic field and this derivation carries three marks in your board examination.